Hi, this is me, and I do, oops, sorry, my hair is all over the place today. I cannot find a scrunchie, but I did shoot my armpits, you'll be glad to know. Um, but I am going to tell you a story time, and this story time happened when I first moved in. I told you there would be five or six or ten parts to the story time that, and I've posted one and two, and I will link them if I think about it before I post this video. So, I moved into this house, um, in 2015. And I would always have weird things happen, like the garage door would go up and down, or, um, you know, I would hear strange noises when I'd be in the shower. Um, one night, and this is a, now keep in mind, this time frame is 2015, and 2015 was a very stressful time for me and my mom. I had been injured the year before in a cooking accident where it scarred my leg and I got two degree and three degree burns. So I almost had to get my leg amputated, but they did not amputate. Thank God the leg healed and everything is good. And if I'm walking, you can kind of see the scar. If I'm wearing shorts or something like that. Or if I'm wearing a skirt, you can see it if I lift the skirt up. I wouldn't lift the skirt up to anybody, but if, you know, somebody happened to see, that is what the scar is from. So, we ended up moving into this house, and I always felt like somebody was watching me, and I always, um... And I started having upper respiratory issues. Now, I'm not blaming this on the house. I was late, late, late in life diagnosed with moderate to the severe asthma, so I'm not blaming it to the house. But I am saying it started and got worse when we moved into this house. So, where I left off, we had contacted the police, and they came in our attic. There was six of them at a time in the attic. I am so glad nobody got hurt or nobody got injured. But um, we ended up um, having to call them again. Now, time frame, this was in February. So if you remember the time frame from my first video, that was in September. So... It had been a couple months and my mom, I would call my mom at work and she was in a different part of, from where I was at. So we were not together. She did not experience it. And we ended up, um, we ended up um, experiencing a very traumatic thing that happened on Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day of 2015, um, me and my ex had just finished having a conversation and that is a story for another time. Um, and we ended up finishing our conversation and mom thought I was still talking because she heard a com what it sounded like a conversation so I had already gone to bed I was already asleep so she comes barging into the room and she goes shut up really loud and I was startled I jumped and the bed was different than it is now it was a wooden bed and it looked like marble like a black marbly color and it, I had a dresser and nightstand that matched. That is no longer in this house, and I will explain why. <laughs> um, so, I wake up, and the bed was not up against the window at the time. The bed was, I will show you. 
it was where the mirror is right there. That was where the bed was. So the bed was, you'd walk around and the bed was right here and things, and I know it's a mess. I'll clean it up. Um, but sorry for putting my hand there, guys. Back. All right. So we had the bed up against where the mirror was and my dresser was um, like on the left side of the bed. So at this point in time, I am startled. So mom tells me, get dressed. And I'm still asleep. I'm thinking it's a dream because I've never seen my mom react that way and be like, get up, stop. And I'm like, I'm not doing anything. So while my mom is getting me up and I'm getting dressed and I put on jeans and a long sleeve shirt and I am sitting there and I was debating on getting on shoes because I didn't know if we were going to be leaving the house and going to stay at a hotel or what she was doing, but she told me to dial 911. So we end up dialing 911 and they get here um this time it was seven officers and they come and they check the whole house again and the like we hear this big kaboom that is why my mom um because the the present the current you know the previous owners still had the code to the garage so we didn't know if they were trying to get stuff out of the attic and we didn't know anything of that nature. So what we knew was there was a big thud. And so they come and check the whole house and they ask us point blank, are there any children under the age of like newborn or, you know, younger in the house? And I said, no, at the time I was not married or did not have a partner and still not married. But I didn't have any, you know, littles at that time. So, and I, yeah. So then I turn around and we, we, they went through the house and I ended up having to go to the bathroom and my mom said it was okay. And so I went to the bathroom and the officer comes in and he goes, ma'am, we have to search the house. Can you hurry up? And I said, can you give me one minute, sir? I just have to finish going to the bathroom because my mom has scared the bejesus out of me. So, um, I am dressed in a kitty sweater and it's saying happy Valentine's Day and I have jeans on and my hair is in a messy bun. Um, so I am sitting there and at this time, I'm 33 now, so I was like mid to late 20s, um, and they had asked a lot of questions. They were like, is there anybody else in the home, um, your husband maybe, or a significant other, um, because they were hearing the weird noises too. So, one of the officers come down, and he is white as a ghost, and he said, he was stuttering his words. He's like, ma'am, if you have any more problems, please contact us. I'm going to go talk with the other officers. And he leaves and two more officers come. I don't know what he says. They check the house and they don't find anything. And we're, um, then they say, hey, if it continues, because we did explain the situation. I explained to y'all that the previous owners still had the code to the garage and we didn't know if they had left stuff in the attic because we hadn't gone in the attic at that point. So a couple of days later my uncle was scheduled to come in so we could meet his new girlfriend. I'm not gonna give his name because he asked me not to and I'm going to respect that but my uncle did come in with his new girlfriend and we got to meet her. So at this point in time, we explain to my uncle what has been going on. We meet my uncle for lunch, and as we are meeting my uncle for lunch, 
Mind you, at this time, I am going to school full-time. I still work, but not like I do now, where it's a full-time job, where I actually go. I was pretty much working as a nanny and working with kids, which is my passion. I absolutely love children. If I hadn't decided to be a psychiatrist, I would have wanted to be... Sorry, I'm trying not to hiccup um I would want to be a special education teacher so um at that time we are getting ready to see my uncle I have a full face of makeup and at this time the bathroom has not been renovated yet we'll get into that in the next part of the story um so all of a sudden, I am ready. I am completely dressed. I have everything on. I'm walking out the door on my walker. And before I walk out the door, mom tells me, hey, Kayla, can you come here? I want to make sure, you know, every you're okay. I was finishing up some schoolwork because my uncle was going to be in town for two weeks. And I wanted to finish all my assignments so he and I could spend time together and I could get to know his significant other. So at that point in time, um, me and my mom are in my closet and we hear this very angry voice and it says my name and me and mom and I said mom I'll be there one second just let me finish this paragraph and I'm about to submit my schoolwork and I will be done for the two weeks that my uncle is going to be here so at this point in time we we I finished the work my mom and then I hear it again and I said mom I told you I one minute so my mom comes around the corner and she goes um I can say anything, sweetie. So we both look at each other. So I get to the room and um, I, and I'm like, okay. So it says it again in me and my mom. I already have my shoes on. I already have everything I'm gonna go. Um, and I grab my backpack and I just put it on and we run. I literally sprinted. And I almost fell in the dog dish because I was running so fast. And I'm like, running, running, running. So me and my mom get to the restaurant and we tell my uncle, we're like, hey, this is happening. And my uncle's like, hey, I'm going to come and I'm going to put in the ceiling fan because that was the reason he was coming to put in a ceiling fan in the house as a housewarming gift for me and my mom. Well, it's my house, but, <laughs> but um, as a housewarming gift for the situation. Mind the clothes in the back, we are donating those to charity and I just haven't put them in a trash bag yet, sorry. But, so, so we go in and my uncle comes back and his girlfriend comes back and I make coffee for everybody or hot. I made coffee for me and the girlfriend and I made, I poured my mom a Dr. Pepper and we're all sitting in the kitchen and we're getting to know the girlfriend. So my uncle is up in the attic and he is... I have never been in the attic. For safety reasons, they will never let me go in the attic for um, my mom's falling off the ladder, um, putting up Chris, getting the Christmas decorations down. Um, things have happened and we just don't go up there. <laughs> um, and they don't let me and I have no reason to go up there. So one, um, my uncle's in the attic, he's doing the electrical part um, because he's a journeyman electrician um, and he, you know, works on cranes, he does all this. So, um, so then I come in and 
me and my mom hear this big boom, boom, like, and we're both looking at each other like, okay. And then we hear like this thud, thud, like somebody has fallen. So my mom runs in the garage and calls up to the attic and goes, hey, Carl, are you okay? Or, hey, are you okay? And he goes, and he comes down a moment later and he's doing the stuff to get the, the stuff together. And all of a sudden, as soon as he comes out of the attic, we hear this boom, boom, like somebody did not want him up there. And he goes, they must have not liked the work I did in the attic. So he goes and puts up two ceiling fans. And he says, hey, I got him up, da 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 da. And this is what, so he leaves and they go to the hotel that they are staying at. And my uncle says, you know, and so the next night, me and my mom had to go to a friend's wedding and they were getting married. And we, um, I would always get stuck like at the bottom of the ramp in the garage because there's step down and sometimes that just doesn't work with um, walkers or wheelchairs. So it's just better to have the ramp for safety. So I got stuck at the bottom of the ramp. It was like somebody was holding me and did not want me to go in the house. Meanwhile, I am dog setting for um, some people who used to go to my old church and I no longer am a member there. But I was dog setting nonetheless and they were coming to pick up the dog that day. So as I get into and I'm calling out to mom. I'm like, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. And my mom said, push hard, push hard. Um, and I'm like trying to push, trying to push, trying to get in. And I just could not get in. I almost flipped backwards. And I felt like this very cold feeling in the garage. Like it, mind you, like I said, this is now... Um, this is actually now in April, so it's been a little bit since the incident where the cops had to come. And we are stuck in the, um, and I'm telling my mom, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I can't get up. Can you get my walker? Maybe I can try to get up from the walker. So she comes in the garage, and she could not push it at first. She had to literally like shove it to get the wheelchair to go up the ramp and i will show you the ramp in question but just not tonight because it is very late um so we're sitting there and we go up and as soon as i get in the house kid you not the washer is up like because we had when we first moved into this house we had not the front loader that we have now but we had like one of those old school top where you put the clothes in and the thing opens at the top and a top loader. So the top loader is up and we notice that it is starting to move like somebody has turned on the washer and they're doing laundry and we hear um, this. So my mom goes and the people who I was dog sitting for, the husband was a plumber, or is a plumber, and he came and he looked at it. And so my mom took video of it and was showing them so we could have, you know, proof. And we're sitting there and we're scratching our heads. And I'm like, Mom, did you turn on the washer? Because I was the first one that noticed it because Mom wasn't focusing she was just focusing on, oh my gosh, my daughter was stuck on air. Um, so at that point, um, this is two days before I get shoved in the shower. I want to give that as a side note. Um, so they come and pick up the dog. We tell him, he looks over it and he, 
you know, gets a flashlight. And this is two months before the house floods. And we find out that the house has black mold. Um, now, um, we did not, and that is kind of why we were getting sinus infections and all that. That's why we had to get new flooring in here, new everything. They even remodeled my bathroom, and that is a story time for another time, but, um, I will leave it at this. Um, but yeah, I will see y'all in the next story time. Please hit that subscribe button if you want to follow me on social media. You can follow me on Snapchat, which it is Topanga Jameson, one word. And then on my Instagram, it is Life Life with Topanga. And those are the only two social medias that I have. Um, those are the only two. And that is what I have. I will start inserting it in the videos. And I will also insert it in a link on my bio. I will do that tomorrow or the next day. But I'm going to get ready for bed because I've got to go work tomorrow. And I've got to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But I wanted to get this video out for y'all because I promised. But I love y'all. God bless. Please stay safe out there and know you are loved. You are awesome. And you are gorgeous. Bye.